Hey guys, how are you? Ron Moore here. Got the golf clubs out. Spring is almost sprung. The golf season is just on its way. I got the big herc here. So I know you guys heard the saying, you uh, you drive for show, you putt for dough. I don't really care about the dough. I'm driving for show. And I got one guy here who's going to give you a great tip. His name is Bruce Rogerson. How you doing? I'm Good a big fan you. of his. He's a great golfer here at the head pro at the Golf and Country Club. He's going to show us how to do it right, how to hit the ball, get the right flight, get it, rock it, make it. Tips for my viewers, Bruce. What can we do to get the ball going to real far? To bomb it. That's right. Absolutely. Everybody wants to bomb the driver. That's um, right. Today we're going to focus on uh, maybe a two things that I want to talk about Perfect. for bombing it. Uh, the big thing is uh, creating width in our golf swing. When I talk about width, Ron, I'm talking about uh, keeping the arms away from the body as long as you can. Okay. While maintaining balance. Sure. Okay. And everybody's got different amounts of flexibility. All right. So we want to keep that in mind when we're making that big swing with the driver. Excellent. Let's okay. rock and roll. What do you so, want me to do? Get set up there like you like you can. All right. Good athletic posture. I want your arms hanging down nice and relaxed in front of your body. Yep. That's the one thing that's really crucial too to uh, hitting the golf ball far is we want to make sure that the arms are staying very, very relaxed. Relaxed, okay. As soon as you incorporate any kind of tension into your golf grip, you just sap all that off. energy into your, uh, into your swing. So just okay. so keep that relaxed. Yep. Now, in the backswing around, all I want you to feel like is that club is going away from you in a nice, steady, uh, one-piece takeaway. Sure. And I want you to keep those hands away from your body as long as you can and, in, and uh, in, increase the hinge in the hands as well at the top of the swing. Okay. So go ahead and take it back for me. Pull it there. That's excellent. Good. I'd tell you to get your hands maybe just a little, little bit more hinge right oh, there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's perfect. Right there. So the left arm is straight. The other one's bent. Just hinge there. Perfect. Yes. I'd also like to see you keep your chin, if you can, on top of oh, your shoulder. Oh, that's right. So that you can maintain your eyes on the golf ball. Cont yep. And by this position right here, Ron, you're loaded. You're ready to, to bomb it. Ready to rock you it, baby. See your, you move your weight into your right leg your right Is that what here. we want to do? It's perfect. Awesome. Your back's to the target. You're ready to fire in that position right there. And then we'll just fold through. And just let it go all the way through in a nice relaxed finish. Now everyone kind of holds it. I love doing that. Even if it goes in, uh, you know, if I slice it. I we like follow it. through on every shot and hold it or only the good ones for the muscle memory. I mean, I talk about that once in a while. That's a, a great point. Yeah. Every time that you finish a golf swing, regardless of what you think you've done prior to that, yeah. you should be on a solid foundation on your front foot. And follow through. And if okay. you can stay on that foundation and hold that until the ball is actually landed, Yep. You know you've made a good golf swing. Perfect. Yep. Okay. I like it. I like the sounds of this. So focus on that Should good finish. Try that. Yeah, load it up again onto that right leg. Okay. So I just go with the full swing? Sure. Let, let's see it go. Bang. Oh, man. That's think, long, right there. I like that. That felt great. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you, okay. if you want to incre increase your distance, is it's all about speed. All about, okay. Ben Hogan once said uh, back in his era, if you want to hit it further, after every game of golf that you play, go to the driving range, hit 30 drives as hard as you can actually hit it on the game balance. Really? That's and okay. And you'll, you'll increase your speed and you'll hit the golf ball so further. The clubs, okay. It's simple physics, Ronnie. The faster you swing the golf club, the further you're going to hit it. Well, you know what? That's huge because, I mean, I just recently dropped 50 pounds. I lost a little bit of strength, but you know what? I'm opening up a lot more and I'm getting a lot more speed and the power equation is strength and speed. So Absolutely. if one goes down, you can bump the other up and, you know. Let's face it, Mr. Hulk over there, he's got big muscles, but I don't think his speed's probably going to be That's great. right. You know, that's how I looked last yeah, year. Hopefully exactly. I'll, uh, I'll look like uh, another, uh, another uh, a slimmer like version that. of that. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So let's, should we try that again? Yeah, so I sure. really try to rock it? Hit one more there again for I me. I like that idea. So, Bruce, do we want to do that even when we actually golf or only in that drive range? You no, no. Every, well, when you're in the golf course, you're trying to always maintain balance. Oh, okay. So you're, you're, you're relying on balance somewhat there as well. But the you want to swing as fast as you can, again, while maintaining that foundation. I like that little tip. Awesome. That's fantastic. Wow, you know That's what? Better right there. That felt a lot better. I think it was like a little uh, mindset thing because I always think about when you're hitting it, you're uh, relaxing. Yeah. Well, you know what, Bruce? That was amazing. Thank you so much for the tips. And I know that my viewers are going to uh, like that. And at the end of the day, guys, I always like to tell it this way. I mean, I have all the gear to call. I have the, you know, the tailor made stuff, the shoes. I'm still a crappy golfer because it's all about foundation. I'm sure Bruce uh, would mention that. So start with a good foundation. It's the same thing when it comes down to fat loss, guys. Stick to the foundation. Stick to me for the nutrition and for the um, for the fitness stuff. We're not going to complicate it. Two great tips from Bruce. Make it happen. Have a great golf season, guys, and uh, make sure uh, to hit the ball long. Okay? Take care. Perfect.